Hey guys, your shot midget here. I'm going to be making a video on HPA engines and how to shorten your trigger pull with them. So I have done this trigger pull modification with um, a Vulcan V12 engine, which is more like a Polar Star. It's a bigger engine. Um, you don't use your own gearbox shell, and um, it was easy to do in that. And uh, I'm doing it on a Polar Star Jack right now. Um, and also, I got myself a ProTech um, because my brother got one. Uh, Protech from uh, Protech. They gave him one, him one for a sponsorship or whatever, and I liked it. So I was like, three hundred dollars. I'll go ahead and buy it. Um, I worked, so I bought it. I actually um, kind of borrowed money for it alone. So I'm going to work. I'm in California this summer, so I'm paying them back, and I'm actually paying them a little bit more than what they paid. So because it's like a loan. So you know what I mean. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to you. My brother had his, and I really liked it, and I was like, this uh, ECU is, uh, FCU is very easy to work with, so I went ahead and bought my own. I got it off of Amped. Um, so, this is just like the Jack, really. Um, so, I decided, you know what, I'll get it. The Jack has a plastic nozzle, and this Mark uh, Protec actually has a aluminum nozzle. So this is actually in a way better because the plastic nozzles I've heard can wear out um, if you don't uh, have the hop up aligned and everything. Where this uh, aluminum nozzle is going to be much more solid. Um, also, I'm buying a V3 trigger board because that is going to go in a V3, and I'm also um, they're also going to send me a AK nozzle. Um, so I'm going to see which one works better on um, the. AK nozzle or the M4 nozzle. I'm going to use the M4 nozzle at first to see how it works in the UMP hop-up and just go from there. Um, and I may have to shave the M4 nozzle down um, a little bit. So the M4 nozzle is longer than the AK, so the M4 nozzle is probably going to be my best bet. Um, so where you need to start is you need to take your gearbox shell. Okay, with your gearbox shell, you want to glue a piece of plastic to this ledge right here. Right there. This ledge that hangs out. That. Um, you want to glue a piece of plastic to that. You want to size it properly. And you may need to space it back or forward. Depends on if you shorten it too much or too less. Um, in my experience with this jack uh, trigger switch, there's too much play behind it. So in order to shorten the trigger pull um, nicely, you have to put a piece of... Uh, a uh, heat shrink on the back of the trigger too because there's too much play behind it. And I really hope the um, the Protec is not like that. I'm going to be using a version 3 board, so it may be a little different um, with the UMP trigger. So I will be gluing a piece of plastic or, yeah, a piece of plastic to the shell of the V3 gearbox to tilt it some more. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, but I assume it shouldn't be too hard. Um, so that is that. Um... I'm just going to be using the standard UMP trigger, UMP trigger spring, gluing a piece of plastic to it, and going to be using the version 3 um, ProTech uh, board. So, again, I'm going to shorten the trigger pull. It doesn't have to be super short. Um, it doesn't have to be, like, as short as James. I want it as short as this one, um, which is pretty dang short. So, um, short enough to, for me. So, um, after you do that, pretty much you just let it sit um, and dry, and then you can put the thing together. It's on full auto. So that's fairly short trigger pull. I mean, that's not super short. I've seen people getting shorter. With the polar stairs, they're easier to get shorter, it seems like. See that semi-auto? I push it in once, but if you do it really short, see? And that's in semi-auto. So you're, he'll probably have to get used to that. I'll have to get used to that. Um...
yeah, see, I can get that going pretty good. So that is pretty dang good where it's at. Now, it does have a lot of play here still. Um, you could fine-tune it even better, but this is probably where my UMP is going to be at. Um, this trigger pull, this is more realistic. Um, the, a real rifle is going to probably... Probably about this much has this much trigger play, but obviously there's a reset with a real rifle. Um, this one resets like right away because it is a Polar Star HPA system, so... Uh, but still, I kind of want the longer trigger pull, like a real one. I don't really want it super short. Uh, my AEGs and all those other guns that I have are not as short, so I do want my HPA to be kind of unrealistically short. So I may tune it so it's even less than this um, for my UMP, but we'll see. Um, again, it's going to be a version 3 Protect board, so we'll see how short I can get it. But I'll make videos on that probably next month. I'll probably have that UMP done, and uh, this coming this week I should have my PTW done, hopefully. So that's that. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below. I'm going to go ahead and put this thing together. Um, again, any questions, just ask. Um, I, it's a really easy mod to do. Um, if you need to know how to take your M4 apart, just go to like a different video, an M4 teardown, just AEG teardown, and pretty much it's the same thing, except when you open up the gearbox, there's no spring coming out, so simpler. But chances are, if you have this jack, um, you've put it in, or you could have had a tech put it in. So um, if you want a short trigger pull done, maybe take it to a tech. But it's so easy that I would do it yourself. Um, if you are uh, if you know what you're doing, I guess. I forgot to put this spring guide back in. So there we go. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later.